जितनी की है कम की है मिदहत नबी मैंने जितनी की है कम की है मेरे साथ रहती है बरकते दुरूदों की मेरे साथ रहती है बरकते फिर मेरी राह में आए क्या मजाल गम की है मेरी राह में आए क्या मजाल गम की है उनको सो इबादत है उनको सोचते रहना भी तो एक इबादत है और ये इबादत ही मैंने दम बदम की है और ये इबादत ही मैंने दम बदम की है शेर बाद में लिखा पहले आंख नम की है माशा जजाकल्ला मैं मुतमिस हूँ सदर बार मलक मोहम्मद जफर खोकर साहब से कि वो वेलकम एड्रेस के लिए यहाँ तशरीफ लाए जनाब सदर बार मलक मोहम्मद जफर खोकर साहब लेक्चर सीरीज आज के हमारे चीफ गेस्ट जस्टिस रिटायर्ड मसर इकबाल सिद्धू साहब जिनका माशाल्लाह फौजदारी में एक बड़ा नाम अगर जो दोस्त जो छोटे भाई जिन्होंने अभी इस प्रोफेशन को ज्वाइन किया है तो अगर वो जस्टिस रिटायर्ड मजर इकबाल सिद्धू साहब की शख्सियत को जानना चाहते हैं तो वो किसी भी पी किसी भी पी सी आर एल उठा के देख लें और उसकी जजमेंट पढ़ लें आपको पता चलेगा कि क्रिमिनल ट्रायल के वाले से और क्रिमिनल लॉ के वाले से जस्टिस रिटायर्ड मदर इकबाल सिंह साहब ने कितना काम किया बड़े वकील बड़े आदमी मेरी जतीी रिक्वेस्ट पर आज शेहूपरा से स्पेशल आपके लिए यहाँ पे तशरीफ लाए लेक्चर्स के लिए सब दोस्त जानते हैं कि आजकल पंजाब में धुंध के हवाले से मोटर वे अक्सर बंद रहती है लेकिन इन तमाम चीज़ों के बावजूद सुबह चले और आज यहाँ पे हमें इज़्ज़त अफजाई दी ये लेक्चर सीरीज बेसिकली इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ जो लाइब्रेरी में हम पूरा साल वाइट बोर्ड कॉर्नर के नाम से चलाते रहे जिसमें आ, हमारे लाइब्रेरी सेक्रेटरी साबल हुसैन साहब राव अब्दुल रहीम साहब अताउल्ला कुंडी साहब इन दोस्तों ने हमारा बड़ा साथ दिया चूँकि ड्यू टू करोना हम बड़े लेवल पर इस तरह लेक्चर्स नहीं करवा सकते थे जो गवर्नमेंट की एसओपी थी इसी वजह से हमने एक महदूद लेवल पर लाइब्रेरी में इसको कंटिन्यू रखा लेकिन अब चूँकि सब दोस्त जानते हैं कि तमाम शादी हाल और तमाम कारोबारी चीज़ें खुल चुकी हैं तो उस चीज़ को मद्दनज़र रखते हुए हमने फैसला किया 
इसको हम वाजिब गलानी हाल में ले के आएंगी और हमने एफर्ट की कि मुल्क के जितने बड़े नाम हैं जिन्होंने बड़े लेवल पे काम किया है तो हम उन सीनियर्स को मदू करें ताकि जो हमारे छोटे बहन भाई और जो मेंबर जिन्होंने इस साल बार को ज्वाइन किया इस प्रोफेशन को ज्वाइन किया तो हमारी कोशिश और ख्वाहिश है कि हम उनको बता सकें सिखा सकें इस प्रोफेशन के बारे में तो मैं तमाम दोस्तों से भी रिक्वेस्ट करता हूं कि इस लेक्चर सीरीज को डेली बेसिस के ऊपर अपने तमाम दोस्तों को कोलीग्स को इनवाइट करें कि वो डेली बेसिस के ऊपर यहां पे तशरीफ लाया करें मैं जस्टिस रिटायर्ड मजर इकबाल सिंधु साहब का इस्लामाबाद बार एसोसिएशन के बिहाफ के ऊपर इनका इंतहाई मशहूर हूँ और मैं अपनी कैबिनेट के अप्रूवल से ये अनाउंस करता हूं कि इस्लामाबाद बार एसोसिएशन जस्टिस रिटायर्ड मसर इकबाल सिंधु साहब को अनरेरी इस्लामाबाद बार की लाइफ मेंबरशिप अवार्ड करेगी थैंक यू सर चूंकि ये बात हमारे लिए एजाज से कम नहीं है कि एक ऐसा शख्स जो शेखुपुरा में क्रिमिनल की वकालत करते हुए एक नाम हो और वो स्पीक पे ऊपर हों कि जिस अदालत में जाएं तो लोग खड़े होकर उनको सुनते हों और वो बतौर जस्टिस भी लाहौर हाई कोर्ट में फ़ायज़ मनसबी सर अंजाम दे चुके हों बिला तमहीद मैं गुजारिश करूंगा जस्टिस रिटायर्ड मदर इकबाल संधु साहब से कि वो यहां पर आएं और आज का जो टॉपिक है क्रिमिनल ट्रायल के हवाले से उसके ऊपर लेक्चर दें वेलकम जस्टिस रिटायर्ड मदर इकबाल संधु साहब बिसमीम इट्स ऑफ कोर्स प्रेयर फॉर मी टू बी हेयर ऑन द इन्विटेशन ऑफ माई यंगर ब्रदर मिस्टर जफ़र खोखर ही इज़ ए वेरी डियर ही इज़ ए वेरी क्लोजर ही इज़ डियर टू माई हार्ट इट्स इम्पॉसिबल फॉर मी वन एवर ही विल कॉल मी आई मे नॉट बी हेयर आई एम थैंकफुल टू ऑल ऑफ यू the learner members of islamabad bar that you have invited me for a particular purpose especially on the criminal trial though i am a student of law and i claim to be a student of law and i want to be a student of law therefore i am equally liable to read to know to learn and to be educated as you are therefore again i am thankful i pay my gratitude to all the learned members of the bar over this lecture and it is immaterial for me that whenever you will be calling me i will be hearing that the weather will not make any handicap i will never be a weather bound person not to come here provided it remains in my capacity it may not be beyond my compass therefore it is again a matter of pleasure for me to be here no my dear mr zafar sitting and outgoing regime of islamabad bar association the learner members today for this discourse toughest topic for lecture have been assigned to me has been assigned to me how to conduct the sessions trial or the magisterial trial it's very difficult no one can claim to be a complete lawyer particularly in the trial because if any person wants to be a good liar if any person wants to be a bigger liar if any person wants to make a name in the history he shall have to do the trial work it is impossible that a appellate liar may be a good liar unless 
he is a trial liar therefore the crux of the matter is that every liar must be knowing how the trial is to be conducted before the relevant courts first of all to comprehend what is meant by trial it is said delhi hum trial kar rahe hain adalat trial mein masroof hai aaj trial uska hona hai after all what is the connotation of trial how the trial is to be interpreted under the law this is first thing and the second thing is prior to the commencing of the trial what are the stages through which a case ultimately comes to the stage of trial and thereafter how the case is to be dealt with ultimately it comes out to a final judgment or the decision therefore one has to understand the 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 the, the stages of the trial now first of all trial means and it denotes judicial scrutiny of the fact and issue or the scrutiny determination of the facts in issue by a competent court of law and ultimately a decision or a judgment is rendered on the fact and issue when we say the the, the judicial proceedings it means the recording of evidence under law of evidence you must be knowing all that the proceedings are judicial proceedings are executive and in certain cases the quasi judicial the quasi proceeding judicial proceedings first of all we have to see what are the proceedings which are termed as an executive proceedings then what are the proceedings which are termed to be an quasi judicial proceedings and lastly the most important phase of the proceeding is the judicial proceedings here the blackboard is not with me otherwise i would have demonstrate all these things executive proceedings are those proceedings which are done ex parte by a competent authority it means when you go before a court that we intend to have a medical legal report from the hospital on that application an order is passed by the learned magistrate or the judge or the relevant person allowed as per rules allowed as per praxis allowed under the law it is the executive proceedings it is not the judicial proceedings therefore if the other party is not heard if the other party is not given an opportunity to be heard and ex parte proceedings are conducted thank you are conducted then it means for all practical purposes it is a executive proceeding no for the executive proceedings the law has been celebrated in the recent past it must be a speaking order leaving this chapter coming to the quasi judicial proceedings where the parties are heard but the evidence is not recorded on oath this distinction this distinction is very important where the parties are heard but the evidence is not recorded under the evidence act how it can be determined and it is a quasi judicial proceedings first of all if an accused is produced 
for the physical remand. The police, along with the London Council for the of the complainant and the government pleader, pray before the court that for certain reasons a physical remand is required. Investigation is yet to be proceeded and to be completed, and certain things which are to be discovered or recovered at the pointing out of a particular accused, whereas counter to the arguments of the learner counsel for the complainant and the Sarkari Vakil, the arguments are raised by the learner counsel for the accused. Therefore, the arguments are heard and from the arguments, an order has been passed by the learner magistrate. It is a quasi-judicial order. Say this is a bail application. If anybody asks you that the order passed in the bail application, is it a judicial order? Straightway, the answer is, it is not a judicial order. It is a quasi-judicial order. Record is there. From this side, the arguments are there. From this side, the arguments are there. From the arguments and from the record, without the appraisal of the judicial record, a, an order has been passed by the London court. It is a quasi-judicial order. Now, last order is the judicial order. Whenever the proceedings are carried out, are conducted under the law of evidence, and after recording the evidence, providing opportunity to the parties for cross-examination, for the de determination of certain facts and issues. Then, after hearing, cross-examination, recording the evidence on oath, a judgment is rendered or a decision is made, it is a judicial order. Simpliciter, it may be said that whenever a judgment is rendered by appraisal of evidence recorded on the basis of application of law of evidence, it means the judicial order has been passed. You know, be must understood that order passed under article under section 22A of the CRPC is not a judicial order. That's why appeal does not lie. That's why the writ lies. Appeal is a right being provided by the statute. Impliedly, this right cannot be stretched or snatched unless and until the statute does not provide the right of appeal, then the appeal cannot be filed. Therefore, there are judgments. Even in the proceedings of vice A and B, contempt proceedings cannot be applicable because these proceedings are not to be termed as a judicial proceedings. It's a quasi-judicial proceedings. Whereas the contempt is for the judicial proceedings. Therefore, this is shortly the distinction between three proceedings. Now coming to the relevant chapter or relevant topic assigned to be by my dear younger Mr. Balak, the trial. <clears throat> trial is very much difficult task. See the stages of trial. First of all, every lawyer, every counsel, he may be a prosecutor, he may, he may be a counsel for the complainant or the defense counsel, must know how the evidence is collected for putting the evidence for appreciation before a competent court of law. It means a lawyer must know 
how the investigation is carried out. If we say that FIR has been chalked out, then we must know under the CRPC 154 section deals with the recording of first information report. We must know under the police rules 1934, 1 deals with the recording of first information report. We must know under the High Court rules and order, chapter 3, criminal investigation, how the commencing of a cognizable offence is made out. Therefore, every liar should know where the law exists. And once it comes to the knowledge of a counsel of a, or a lawyer that FIR has been lodged, it means 154 CRPC remained in operation. It means 24 one of the police rules 1934 is there. It means that High Court rules and order has come into operation for recording 154 CRPC. Now this must be knowing to every person that the way of recording the FIR. If a man whosoever may be is conducting the trial be in a position to note or having the knowledge about it then it would remain very easy for him to cross examination over the recording of the FIR. Number one. Number two, the investigation means by virtue of CRPC is collection of evidence as defined under section two of the under section four of the CRPC, the definition clause. Only the purposes of investigation is to collect the evidence as per the CRPC but at the same time this is not the object of the investigation when we go by the police rules 1934 it means to dig out the truth of the matter in issue and it has been written in the rules that the investigating officer may not be prematurely make up a mind that the matter is right or otherwise. Therefore, in the CRPC, it is a matter for the collection of evidence. Under the police rules, it is a matter for the investigating officer to actually sum up the things which are true in the circumstances. Under the High Court Rules and Order, one must know what is the definition of the investigation. It means to collect the evidence to be presented before the court for the appraisal. Therefore, one must know what is meant by investigation. Now, this is one thing. Secondly, the way of collection of evidence. It's very important. See, there is a direct evidence. I saw the incident under Article 71 of the Kanune Shahadat, 1984. I did not see the incident, but it came to my knowledge otherwise. It's a case of circumstantial evidence. One must know the circumstantial evidence, how it can be collected. It is to be dealt, it is to be known by a lawyer. If he knows that the method of collecting of evidence, then betterly he may cross-examine over a witness. If he does not know the methodology of the collection of evidence, it would remain difficult for him to cross-examine over a witness. Then again, another shape of the evidence is there. Accomplice Vada Maaf Gwa Jo ke Amoman Siasi Mukadmaat Me Hota Hai 
then we must know under what circumstances a tender of pardon is made to an accused person and what is the definition of a that isko kehte hain sultani gwa lehaza we must know why in a particular case a necessity arises to ask an accused person to become a witness it means very in the simple words an accused eye witness of the incident an accused eye witness of the incident therefore a lawyer must know under what circumstances such like witness is introduced by the prosecution and if he does not know that why the necessity arises for the introduction of a accomplice then it's not easy for him to cross examine that particular person therefore again an other aspect of the investigation is 51 of kanun e shahadat opinion of the third person expert opinion if an opinion of a third person is collected or sought for by the investigating officer it must be known to a lawyer that under what circumstances opinion of a third person has been obtained and if he knows the preconditions and the prerequisites for obtaining the opinion of an expert then he would be in a position to cross examine the witness whether the circumstances did in existence for the opinion of a third person then he can cross examine sir then an other person then another shape of the evidence is dying declaration a person a moribund person while making a statement before the magistrate or the investigating officers making a statement which is ultimately presented before the court for the appraisal obviously it is known to everybody if the cross examination is not made over an statement it cannot be used against a person because the definition of a statement means examination in chief cross examination and re examination if these three principles are applied over a statement then it may be termed under the law that it is a statement otherwise the statement remains incomplete incomplete statement cannot be appreciated therefore one must know what are the principles for recording the statement of a dying person and what are the preconditions if it is known to a lawyer or to a person who deals with the case, cases then obviously he can cross examine that what are the deficiencies what are the loop holes in the case in recording the statement under section 161 uh, and of uh, dying declaration 164 or otherwise then again the collection of evidence goes in the test identification pray article 22 of kanun e shahadat how it is to be conducted the circumstances under which the identification prayed was held or likely to be held are compatible to the circumstances under which the incident had taken place and what are the requirements under kanun e shahadat identification of certain things then how the identification prayed has been defined in the police rules then what are the instructions for conducting the identification prayed by the honorable high courts and then again how the police rules deal with the test identification prayed summarily it is submitted to all of you 
that each and every lawyer who holds a brief for the trial must be equipped with all these relevant laws then he may be in a position to proceed with the trial and to conduct the trial and to cross them the witness therefore this is a very shortly the outstanding and the comprehension of the trial after the completion of investigation obviously report under section 173 crpc which is known generally a chalan has been submitted before the court on the basis of that the trial commences and again it's not possible for a good lawyer to do with the trial unless and until he knows each and every niceties of the investigation collection of evidence and in absence of the thorough study of the case it means the fir it means the medical evidence it means the place of occurrence first inspection note site plan prepared by the police the the scale site plan statements recorded under section 161 crpc the case diaries generally known as zimniyat police ka record and ultimately the report under section 160 173 crpc it's very important therefore before the commencing of the trial every lawyer must go through the case not only once once twice thrice even countless time you had to go through the files it's a very difficult to deal with the trial but again it's a very it is very easy for a persons who do work hardly believe you be my late senior mr justice retired sayyid zahid husain bukhari era aur ek baat aapko aur bata de allah ne mujhe bhi high court ka justice banaya allah ne mere ustad sahab ko bhi high court ka justice banaya unke ustad sahab ko bhi high court ka justice banaya unke ustad ko bhi high court ka justice banaya this is a very fortunate for us ek dafa i appeared before mr justice mr jassus asif jahan who is now late may allah be blessed upon him to just i started reading fir mujhe kehte hain ruke 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 mai kehta ji mujhe kisi ki awaaz nazar aa rahi hai मैं कह जी आ रही है किसकी मैं कह जी सैयद जहाद हुसैन बुखारी साहब की कह लेंगे वो तो मेरा शागिर्द है तो मैं कह जी मैं उनका शागिर्द हूँ आप मेरे दादा उस्ताद हैं बेल ग्रांटेड नो आर्गूमेंट्स दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द कोर्ट ही मस्ट हैव गॉन थ्रू द केस अदरवाइज ही माइट नॉट ग्रांट द बेल बट एनी हो इट वॉज इनकरेजमेंट फॉर मी मैंने उसी वक्त कहा मैं, मैंने कहा जी आप तो मेरे दादा उस्ताद हैं उन्होंने कहा जी ठीक है नो आर्गूमेंट्स बेल इज अलाउड नो यू हैड टू इनहेरिट द गुड थिंग्स फ्रॉम योर सीरियस नो दिस इज अ प्रिसाइज बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द स्टडी फॉर ए ट्रायल नो कमिंग टू द ट्रायल when a report under section 173 crpc is submitted the court takes the cognizance the evidence is commenced pws are seen two words are generally known trial and the fair trial fair trial means though no it has been incorporated under 10a of the constitution of 1973 islamic republic of pakistan but again trial fair trial means proper it may be noted proper application of the procedure it's a fair trial if the proper appreciation on the proper application of the procedure is not adopted by the court of law 
who is conducting the trial, it's not a fair trial. It may give relief to both the parties or to any of the parties, but again, necessarily, it may be said that it is not a fair trial. In the recent past, may I ask you Then I also pass an order. A case I have read. Indian Supreme Court का मैंने अभी trial को शुरू नहीं किया अभी मैं सिर्फ background बता रहा हूँ आपको trial की चलती हुई बस में bomb blast हो गया नतीजा ये निकला कुछ लोग फौत हो गए कुछ लोग injured हो गए case की investigation हुई एक पाकिस्तानी शख्स को उसमें trial के लिए pick कर लिया गया he was held guilty and ultimately he was tried by the special court. He was a destitute person. He could not have the capacity to engage a private counsel. The trial was conducted by the special court. He was sentenced to death. Through a state appeal before the Indian High Court, appeal was dismissed. Then the matter came up before the Supreme Court of India, wherein it was held that due process of law has not was not applied in the commencing of the trial, particularly being a proper person, he was not given a proper legal assistance so that he may be defended and ultimately due to want of proper legal assistance he was condemned then what was decided by the Indian High Court Indian Supreme Court it was postulated that about 12 years have passed The death convict have been seeing the news person. He cannot sleep even during the night time, having the fear of his being execution. No, it's not possible to remand the case because more than a decade has passed. So many PWs might have died again. The attendance of the persons who have already been recorded would remain difficult. Therefore, again to demand the case for the trial before the trial court for the trial de novo or afresh, it may not be sufficient to meet the ends of justice. Then what happened? The judges wrote, We proud to be a democratic country. And we believe to the fundamental rights. Therefore, having considered the facts and circumstances of the case, we vitiate the whole proceedings of the trial court as well as the appellate court. The man was acquitted and he was ordered to be deported. When I went through this judgment, that we proud to be a democratic country, then I also wrote a judgment in a very high profile case, which is reported. It's not for me to be to tell to all of you that we proud to be a democratic country and we believe the rule of law, supremacy of the constitution, and we respect the fundamentals of the human being. This judgment again came, went to the Indian legal fraternity. They became very happy. And I have been receiving so many calls about it from Canada, from Pakistan, and so many others from the bar, London members of the bar, that you rightly replied, replied to the persons of Supreme Court. Now, leaving this, coming to the trial. Trial commences 
when the court takes cognizance cognizance is a legal word it means conscious knowledge about the facts of the case by a court of law so that the case may be proceeded for its decision conscious knowledge of the court of law there are diverse opinions the trial commences by supplying the copies under section 265c crpc before seven days before the commencement commencement of the trial then again another opinion is it's a ministerial or magisterial way reader ki copies taqseem kar dete hain anguthe lagwa lete hain but when the trial commences when actually the indictment is made when the charge is framed at the time of framing of charge the court remains conscious what is the case how the case was concluded by the investigating officer and what are the precise allegations against therein therefore on the basis of collection of material the charge is framed then the trial commences now this is an fir of a murder case for every person mandatorily it has to be gone through number of times by both the learned counsels i tell you that rather i assure you a good defense counsel remains a good prosecutor if a good prosecutor is not a good defender he may not be a good lawyer therefore a lawyer who conducts the case must know the deficiencies of the case the places upon which the case has to be demolished the things available in the case through which the case has to be built in this way in some cases we do cases we do the case we do the line that i did not participate in the occurrence i am innocent it's a blind murder then the action of cross examination is otherwise it means we had to destroy the presence of the pws at the place of occurrence in the circumstances of the case if we say that i committed the murder or i committed an offense under the circumstances coming under the exceptions of the pakistan penal code maine isko isliye mara hai ki isne meri behan ko cheda tha maine isliye mara hai ki ye raat ko hamare ghar mein aaya tha maine isliye mara tha ki ye mujhe marna chahta tha this is a stage you had to develop a case but not beyond the compass of the prosecution if you would be taking a defense which is alien to the prosecution case you will fail the case if you put a defense within the prosecution case which is nearer to the truth probable in the circumstances appealable to a man of ordinary prudence then you will be succeeding the case therefore each fir or each case in the criminal side has three things mainly number 1 the motive number 2 the incident itself number 3 the presence of the pws now what is the time of occurrence then the way in which matter was reported to the police the way through which 
the complainant approached the law enforcing agencies then recording of the statement under section 150 for crpc it must be in the knowledge of a counsel that the person who stood a complainant has a such type of rationality to get a statement recorded or he is not a man of that caliber then you had to seek assistance from the litigant that who was accompanying the complainant when the fir was being recorded aap rozana padhte hain the fir was recorded by due deliberations and consultations but not in a way as alleged or asserted by the complainant then it's again for the counsel learned counsels that 154 is invoked then what are the requirements and how the sanctity can be attached to that statement and what are the parameters under the crpc under the police rules under the high court rules and order and how the case law have been developed on this particular issues therefore it is known if it is known to a counsel through the study of a case law through a codified case law kyunki mujhe sirf ek ghanta diya gaya hai time bada thoda hai warna ye lecture kam se kam 3 4 ghante ka hona chahiye tha tab meri tasalli honi thi ki maine lecture diya hai if it is known to a person the method of recording of evidence statement under section 154 crpc then he must know the circumstances in which he is doing the case and the recording of the statement under section 150 so crpc fit in the circumstances of the case or not if this statement does not fit in the circumstances due to the circumstances otherwise then obviously it may be said that the fir has not been recorded the way in which it has been asserted by the prosecution it is sufficient to discard the statement of the complainant then again and other aspect which is very important the motive under kanun e shahadat the motive is an independent thing it's a one limb of the prosecution case normally no incident takes place in absence of a motive then you had to study deeply about the motive whether the motive given in the fir in the circumstances of the case fits in or it has just been concocted if the rationality with the motive does not exist the motive otherwise alien to the incident just it has been introduced to fill up a lacuna or to fill up a thing then though it's not a fact in issue under kanun e shahadat it is a relevant factor but again if the motive is smashed then now the latest celebrated opinions of the court are there it must operate for the quantum of sentence motive has not been proved one limb has failed therefore extreme penalty the death is not warranted therefore about the motive one must deeply concentrate why the motive have been introduced why the motive have been set up how the motive can be smashed through a cross examination then it is it remains 
by the defense counsel the motive is only to be demolished or within the motive and other motive have been introduced just for example if the incident has taken place in the house of an accused and it is the version of the complainant that we were passing in front of the house of the accused party they snatched the deceased and ultimately he committed the murder intramural then it may be on the other side that the deceased himself invited the trouble he entered in the house of the complainant in order to commit an offense this may be the motive otherwise therefore it is in the circumstances of the case to be to be studied by the london defense counsel then the incident itself it's very important see in the murder cases <clears throat> dead body speaks and dead body does not tell a lie it is for the lawyers to get spoken the dead body otherwise it's a dead body how the dead body speaks if the complainant says that he made a fire shot on the head of a person dead body speaks that no had received blunt edged weapon it means the dead body speaks it's for us to talk with the dead body if we understand the importance of the dead body in a murder case and if we see it being spoken then you may succeed the case if the complainant says that a b c jointly made a fire shot hitting on the belly of the deceased but again the dead body says no it's a one shot received by it it means dead body speaks if a says that he may he caused an injury on the right arm but where whereas on the right arm there is no injury it means dead body tells right he received no dead body therefore dead body versus the eyewitness there is a contradiction and obviously the dead body has to be believed because the dead man cannot tell a lie a living person may tell a lie but the dead body may not tell a lie in the other sense there is a contradiction between the ocular account and the medical version now motive there after the occurrence kyon kaise kis tarah if he says that i was present at the place of occurrence when the incident took place first of all the circumstances had to be appreciated that the circumstances under which the man claims to be present at the place of occurrence at the time of occurrence warrant the case or not हम रोज कहते हैं कि बंदे ने मुखुआ तो नहीं देखा ये तो घर में था एंड समाइम्स दी कोर्ट बिलीव एंड समाइम दी कोर्ट डज नॉट बिलीव आफ्टर ऑल इसके पीछे लॉजिक क्या है वाई दिस इज सेड इफ यू गो बाई द केस लॉ एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल माई ब्रदर्स हु आर दंगर्स हु आर दी ओल्डर्स टू बी दो आम नॉट ओल्डर आम यंग मैन मैं तो जवानी में गया था इनिंग प्ले करने के लिए जवानी में वापस आ गया हूं अगेन आम ऑन द प्रोफेशन एंड आम द मोस्ट हैप्पी मैन इन द प्रोफेशन बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ ऑल माई टी अल्लाह एज आई वॉज बिफोर द एलिवेशन इट इज फॉर द लॉयर टू अंडरस्टैंड नो 
how to discredit a person that you did not see the incident it is the skill of a lawyer that the circumstances of the case one side the way in which he became a advocate he became a witness it is what second thing how it is to be removed from the place of occurrence it is otherwise aur main aapko ek arz kar deta hu on the basis of my own experience jhoot chal to jata hai lekin ultimately kisi na kisi stage pe aake to wo nude ho jata hai ye jo appreciation of evidence ka second phase hai appeal pe why the people are generally acquitted the conviction rate in the honorable lahore high court and the islamabad high court is very few but the persons who are convicted or the death or the sentence is upheld by the appellate court supreme court normally does not interfere in the matter because facts have been appreciated minutely by the court of record ha ek aur baat aa gayi isi mein ek hai court of rec court of record anybody may tell it about it what is the court of record trial court yes the court of record is a trial court who principally makes the record in a judicial way say my name is mazrik wal sindhu god for forbid i may become a witness in a case aap dekhenge zara shuru kaise hota hai kya naam hai ji mazar wal sahab ka naam ji fulana kaun fulani kithe rehnde ho ji theek hai kya kaam karte ho theek lo alaf jo kuch kahunga allah taala ko azar nazar jaan ke sach kahunga sach ke siwa kuch nahi kahunga jo kuch kahunga agar jhoot bolu to mujh pe allah ka qehr nazar ho no this is the commencing of a statement of a witness see here a statement is on the police file the same words are transmitted to the judicial card through oath therefore in a way of judicial scrutiny each and every word of a of a witness is recorded on oath whosoever may be the eye witness or the former witness therefore that court is termed as a court of record it is also constructing the record but in a judicial way on the judicial side then again on that statement the cross examination is conducted in the system of law <clears throat> nothing is in the sanctity except the evidence nobody says my statement was not recorded by the court properly it is said daily police ne mera bayan galat likh diya police ne mara 161 ka bayan nahi sahi likha but once a statement before the court is recorded on oath and it is cross examined then nobody can earthly be believed saying that my statement was not recorded properly by the court of law therefore in the system of law the sanctity the sacrosanctness is attached to the judicial record hum hamesha kehte hain the learned trial court has erred in appreciating the facts and circumstances hum ye nahi kehte the learned trial court has recorded the evidence in a wrong way not in a proper way that is why the sanctity to the evidence is made no it is for a lawyer before the commencing of the trial to determine in his mind whether he has to demolish the case or he has to build the case build means to demolish the prosecution case and to build the defense version and if he has to demolish only the case then you had to see the attendance of the pws at the place of occurrence 
how it can be removed now for the cross examination over the eye witness right from the first word of the case up to the last word of the case the entire investigation the entire police file the entire evidence of uh, medical post mortem medical legal report reports of the forensic science laboratory report of the bati report of the parchat each and everything must be in the knowledge of a defense counsel and if it it is pre maturely determined that i had to go at that particular place then he may be a good cross examiner it is not the way to 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 do the murder trial or the trial to hit and go to make and go chale go aaya kar lete hain jo do char baatein puch lete hain not at all trial mein galti hui wapas nahi aa sakti hamara phansi lagwaya hua banda bari nahi ho sakta court ka phansi lagaya hua hum roz chhudwa lete hain therefore main aapko ek baat batana chahta hu even now days but to talk by my, my earlier days maine bagair wuzu ke kabhi koi trial nahi kiya tha would you believe it never and i remained a, a, a justice in a bench honest to god i never even touch a file without being wuzu either in my court room or in my chamber but not in my home and whenever i may be asked while sitting in the my seated oh sara file reh gayi ya main wuzu karke aata tha ya main kehta tha kal la ke sign karunga no this was happening with me why it is one of the attributes of the god almighty allah to do a justice error is there error is a human um, i was no judge as an angel and perfection cannot be claimed except by the almighty allah or the holy prophets or the certain persons who are the aima masumin alaihi wasallam therefore for the lawyer he must be on the helm of affairs so far as the character of a lawyer is concerned jhoot nahi bolna galat paise nahi lene galat mashwara nahi dena कोर्ट से कोशिश करना कोई चीज ना छुपाई जाए ईमानदारी के साथ काम करना कामयाबी आपके कदम चूमेगी एंड आई टेल यू वन थिंग ऑनेस्ट टू गॉड आई नेवर आस्क टू एनी पर्सन दैट आई मे बी रिकमेंडेड फॉर द एलिवेशन आई वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम माई कमिंग फ्रॉम द कचहरी शेखपुरा ऑन द वे आई वॉज गिवन एन intimation that you have been elevated to a bench i was not willing to become a judge kyunki main dekh chuka tha judges ka hal jisme mere ustad e muhtaram bhi shamil the wo kehte the meri jeb mein 10 rupaye hote the jab main multan se wapas shikh par aaya karta tha ye alam tha lekin ultimately it was decided it is the decision of the family and all the members nay it's a grace it's a honor please have it then ultimately i did it no this is for ye nahi samajhna ki kaam to logon ka hai nahi aise nahi hai kaam unka nahi hai you are the blessed people you are the celebrated people you are the seasoned people aap dekhen kisi ko kisi ke dukh ka mudawa karne ke liye agar koi dukhi insaan kisi ke paas aata hai ek taraf dukhi insaan hai एक तरफ दुख को खत्म करने वाला इंसान है एक तरफ ऊपर खुदा देख रहा है इंटेंशन ऑफ ए पर्सन मस्ट रिमेन ऑनेस्ट इन नमल माल बिन याद इट इज इमन नो कमिंग टू अगेन टू दी टॉपिक द ट्रायल the last but not the least 
how the defense version is to be prepared each case has its own dynamics if the defense defense version is created or oozed out from the facts and circumstances of the case may not be in the fir we say that fir has been recorded by the complainant in a collusive way suppressing the facts chor chori karne ke liye gaya but at the place of occurrence he was murdered the fir was lodged that he was simply murdered on on account of previous incident or previous motive or previous brawl but the object of the investigation is to bring out the truth during the investigation it comes out not at all deceased himself entered the house of the complainant in order to commit theft where at the spot he was shot dead no this is a circumstance within the prosecution case which giving you a line to have a defense it's very easy for you if total alien to the prosecution case you put a defense version then it cannot be believed one minute sir choti si mazrat mein ab islamabad high court mein case fix hai jo hamare bhai ka lagwa ho gaya the alhamdulillah wo wapas aa gaye to wo wahan pe main pesh hone ke liye jai sahab se request hai ke main 20 se 25 minute mein wapas aa gaye jo magvi the ji wo wapas aa gaye sir आप सबको मुबारक हो आपके भाई जिंदा सलामत वापस आ गए अलहमदिल्ला इस्लामाबाद बार एसोसिएशन की तरफ से कल ही एक बड़ा स्ट्रॉन्ग मैसेज गया उसके बाद हम अपने तौर पर भी एफर्ट करते रहे और हम मशकूर हैं ऑनरेबल मिस्टर जस्टिस अतरम नला साहब चीफ जस्टिस इस्लामाबाद हाई कोर्ट जिन्होंने कल बर वक्त नोटिस लिया और उनके ऑर्डर के बाद सारी चीज़ें हरकत में आई और अलहमदिल्ला वो वापस आ गया मैं कैसे वापस होके वापस आता हूँ मैं आपको ज्वाइन करता थैंक यू नहीं मैं नहीं जाऊँगा मैंने कैसे जाना है see this is the fir which is going to be read read by me bakhdman janab sho thana kural islamabad janab ali guzarish hai ke musammi jameel khan wal parvez khan sakna zargarabad beruni yakka tu makan number n hall bank staff ka rashi hai mera walid parvez khan jo ke khanna dak nurse ziyarat biani sarkar alauddin asla dealer and company ke naam se dukan karta hai आज मोरखा बीस दो चार दो हज़ार उन्नीस करीब चार बजे दिन मैं और मेरा वालद अजीज़ खान और उसके दोस्त वहीद का भाई बलाल खान वल जैन खान दुकान के अंदर मौजूद थे कि दो नौजवान जिनके नाम बाद में अली बंगश सकना इस्लामपुरा और अमाद वहीद वल्द वहीद सकना तरलाई इस्लामाबाद मालूम हुआ गाड़ी नंबर सो एंड सो पर आए दुकान में मेरे वालद परवेज खान से असल और एमोनीशन खरीदने की डील करने लगे इन लोगों ने काफ़ी मकदार में पिस्टल राइफलें और गोलियां निकलवाईं मेरे वालद ने विजटिंग कार्ड पर एक लाख चौतालीस हज़ार रुपये का बिल बनाया अली बंगश और आबाद ने तीन गुना असला अपनी गाड़ी में रख लिया और आखिरी फेरा उठाने के लिए मेरे वालद ने पैसे दिए तो आमाद ने किसी चीज़ के पैसे और किसी कैसी चीज़ के पैसे और कैसे अली बंगश ने राइफल निकाल कर आमाद पर पिस्टल्स के वालद से तान लिया बाकी बचा हुआ असला भी उठाने लगे वालद ने मना किया तो अली को पकड़ने की कोशिश की तो दोनों ने हम पर अंधा दुंद फायरिंग शुरू कर दी जिसकी वजह से मेरा वालद जान बहक हो गया है और दावेदार हूँ कार्रवाई की जाए नो दिस इज़ दी एफ आई आर इन दिस एफ आई आर द डिफेंस इज इट सेल्फ अवेलेबल इफ इट इज रेड वंस इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट एफ आई आर इफ इट इज रेड twice thrice four time or 10 times then you will you may be getting a defense version main abhi aapko bata deta hu just i read it something has happened suddenly in between the deceased and the accused persons 
over a payment of money. But this is the only matter. This is a sudden incident. Therefore, if one says that in each and every case the accused has to be acquitted honorably, it's not possible. First of all, it is the duty of a London Defence Council to save the life of a person. If he is making down from the threshold of execution, then it is the success. Then, if he comes further for the acquittal of the person or for the reduction of his sentence, it is the success. If straight away, if the man thinks that he has to be acquitted, not at all. Because you had to submit. The appraisement remains with the court. Court is a human being. He may have otherwise trend of appreciation as you have. Therefore, you have to give the avenues to the court. This may be possible. It may be probable. It remotely can be argued. Just I read the FIR and I said, no, the occurrence has taken place. The man was done to death. It's, there is no motive. Because a huge ammunition was purchased. Something, some bickering or hot words met the fate of the deceased. Therefore, it's not intentional murder. It's not a premeditated. Therefore, on this particular point, the death is avoided. And suppose if the weaponry put by the accused in his sedan, in his motor car, is not recovered, again, one thing B of the prosecution case remain not correct. If a receipt properly was not handed over to the accused person, just on a visiting place, an amount was made. This is near to the rationality. This is near to the probability. No, the probability and the rationality is the prime thing for the appraisal of the evidence. And if the London Defence Council say that he was not there, he did not go there, he did not purchase the things, he may fail the case, he may suffer the consequences. But within the case, he brings the circumstances for mitigation, for the demolition of the prosecution case. It would remain easier for the court and for the client. It's not possible that a liar may get acquitted, acquitted, acquitted each and every accused. Otherwise, the system would fail. If the punishment and the sentence is not there, it means the system of law has gone. Therefore, punishment is also there. Now, coming to the last limb of the trial. <clears throat> Certain relevant evidence is required to be cross-examined. Suppose the direct evidence has properly connected the accused with the commission of crime. But the allied evidence and the relevant facts do not connect. Then again, the accused may be benefited. It is for the defense counsel to pick up the things from the file, from the record, then ultimately makes a heap to put before the court no, this is the heap of the doubts. Why it not be believed? The court has to believe. The recovery evidence. If the report is negative that the weapon allegedly used in the commission of crime has not been found 
used by the forensic science laboratory though it is negative though it may not be read but prior to that the recovery of the weapon under section 103 of the crpc has been complied with or it's otherwise then that negative report would plus your cross examination ke sir aap dekhein jis ghar se inhone recovery ki hai us vicinity se kisi aadmi ko inhone saath shaam le taftish nahi kiya it would be strengthening the report of the forensic plan laboratory because it's a negative say about the test identification prey though it is a relevant factor but if you say that it has taken place after a 30 days of the incident though the possibility with the io remains to get it conducted prior to that but it did not it's a plus to the relevant it will affect ultimately to the fact in issue therefore collection of evidence all the methodology must be known to a lawyer then appraisal of evidence must be got made by the by the defense counsel through the court in a rational way ek last baat karna chahta hu defense counsel ko kabhi gussa nahi aana chahiye ye baat yaad rakh le jo koi wakil sahab gussa karenge na unke paas brief rahega na unko relief milega na unko appreciate kiya jayega kabhi court ko bura na kahe hamari aadat hai main bhi shamil hu ab main bhi aap mein shamil hu और मैं जो वकाल जजी से पहले करता था वो ही करता हूं लेकिन नॉट बिफोर एनीबॉडी फैसला आपके खिलाफ हुआ है बड़ी सादा सी बात है जी जज साहब हैं उनकी मर्जी है कर दिया ठीक है अपील में जाते हैं सर जो मर्जी कहता रहे आपके मुंह से कोई गलत बात कोर्ट के बारे में नहीं निकलनी चाहिए इसलिए यह सिस्टम हमारा है ये सिस्टम कोर्ट्स का नहीं है यू आर द कस्टोडियंस ऑफ द इंटायर सिस्टम देखें बार से बेंच बनता है लिहाजा मदर प्लेस इज द बार अगर किसी को मदर को बुरा कहा जाए किसी को कहें तेरी मां खुदा न खास्ता वह करैक्टर अच्छा नहीं है बंदा कहता ठीक है उन्हें तो दस देने जिस इलाके में मैं रह, मैं रहता हूं ना वो कहते जरा ठहर तो जाओ ना और मैं आपको एक सही वाक्य बताता हूं आई डिड दिस केस हमारे गांव के साथ एक गांव था एक नई बंदूक आई वो छेड़ू होती है ना बोवन जो मवेशियों को चारा डलाते हैं बाहर लेके जाते हैं वो बंदा बंदूक ले गया अपने मवेशियों के साथ चारे के लिए उसके दूसरे दोस्त ने क्या वाह बड़ी गल है भाई बड़ी नवी बंदूक आई है निशाना तरह है कोई नहीं उन्हें क्या निशाना क्यों नहीं है उन्हें क्या मार के वहा उन्हें क्या मैं खड़ा हूं ना बंदा कतल हो गया वुड यू बिलीव इट ये मैंने केस आई डिड दिस केस वो बाद में पता लगा कि मैंने तो बंदा मार दिया है निशाना चेक करते हुए इसलिए फिर कंप्रोमाइज हो गया बड़ा मुश्किल हुआ वो एक अलहदा बात है देखें कहने का मकसद ये है वकील को आइस फैक्ट्री होना चाहिए खा वो डिफेंस काउंसिल हो खा वो प्रोसिक्यूशन काउंसिल हो और मैं आपको बात बता दूं जो शान अल्लाह ताला ने आपके लिए ट्रायल लायर के लिए रखी हुई है वो ना किसी अपलेट लायर के लिए नहीं है इसलिए वो करते कुछ नहीं है सारा कुछ क्रूड मटेरियल रिफाइन करके आप प्रेजेंट करते हैं फिर वो उससे रीअप्रेज करते हैं फिर थर्ड टाइम पे रीअप्रेज हो जाता है लेकिन अगर आपने दयानतदारी के साथ वो चीजें जो किसी केस के लिए लाजमन हो फाइल में लाई हो तो अप्रिसिएट अप्रिशिएट हो जाती हैं किसी ना किसी जगह पे लेकिन अगर राम ले लेके आए और एक बात जो मैंने आहरी मेरे उस्ताद मुकरम ने कहा था कि बजर 
ਸੋਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਮੂੰਹ ਤੇ ਡਿੱਗੇ ਵੁਡ ਯੂ ਬਲੀਵ ਮੁੱਦਤ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਯਾਰ ਕੋ ਮਹਿਮਾ ਕੀ ਹੋਏ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਨੀਂਦ ਹੀ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਹਮ ਬੈਠੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਸੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਬੈਠੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਜਾਗ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਜਿਸ ਦਿਨ ਰਾਤ ਕੋ ਪੜਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਨੀਂਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਣੀ ਜਬ ਹੈਬਟ ਇਹ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗੀ you must be such a literary person may not be on the following day a case fixed for proceedings even then you may go the you may go through the shakespeareans poet poetry you may go to fairs you may go beshmar cheeze aisi hain aur ek acche layer ke liye ek acha mazak hona acha maza paida karna अच्छा नॉलेज लिटरेचर का होना अंग्रेजी होनी ये सारा कुछ होना चाहिए क्योंकि हम हैं दुकानदार जैसा गाह का है वैसे डीले के जा हर वेले सड़या बड़या मुंह के जनाब मेरा जज ने बंद खर्च कर लिए मैं कुछ नहीं कर रहा नो दिस इज नॉट द वे होगी तो ठीक है आगे चले जिंदगी इज टू गो अहेड दिस इज अ लाइफ इफ यू फील मैं आपको बताता हूं मेरा पहला केस 60 साल सजा हुआ था 60 ईयर्स मैं हैरान परेशान हो गया मेरे उस्ताद ए मुस्तरम ने मुझे कहा तेनू की हो गया है डेमो बड्डे ने मैं कहा जी नहीं ते बोलदा नहीं हैगा आ तीन चार दिन होए ने मैं कहा सर मैं केस बड़ी मेहनत नाल किया था तू उन्होंने इतना सर कद गल सुन ठेका कीता सी मैं कहा नहीं केस सही कीता सी मैं कहा सी ईमानदारी नाल चल छड़ परा आगे चलिए उसके बाद फिर सजा मौत भी होते रहे हैं ट्रायल कोर्ट अक्सर सजा मौत करती है एक दिन वर्चुअली ऐसा हुआ मेरे सामने जज ने कहा तुम्हारा क्या नाम है जी मेरा फला नाम है तुझे सजा मौत तुम्हारा क्या नाम है जी मेरा तुझे सजा मौत तुम्हारा तुम्हारा क्या नाम है जी तू बरी तुम्हारा क्या नाम है तुझे उमर कैद मेरी अंसी निकल गई मुझे कहने लगा सिद्धू साहब क्या हुआ है मैंने कहा जी ठीक है तो मुझे लग रहे हैं सारे तो अगला केस शुरू करें मैं कहा जी करें नो दिस वाज हैपनिंग विद अस इसलिए कि एक इतना बड़ा दिल इतना बड़ा हौसला कि सारी दुनिया समा जाए एक लायर में यह होना चाहिए फिर देखें फ्यूचर इज ऑफ यू यू आर द स्टार्स कल के जज साहबान आप बैठे हुए हैं कल के एडवोकेट जनरल अटॉर्नी जनरल वगैरह वगैरह और जो कोई एक लायर सुप्रीम कोर्ट हो जाता है मास वे टेक्निकल सीट्स के बाकी हर कब एलिजिबल हो जाता है और यह है ओपन फील्ड इसमें दौड़े इसमें स्टॉप नहीं करना आज आप लोअर कोर्ट के वकील हैं कल आप सेशन कोर्ट के वकील होंगे परसों आप हाई कोर्ट के होंगे तरसों आप सुप्रीम कोर्ट के होंगे उससे आगे आप इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस में जाएंगे इट्स फॉर यू नॉट रन फॉर दी बनी डोंट बदर फॉर दी बनी बदर फॉर दी वर्क इफ यू विल बी बदरिंग फॉर दी वर्क एंड यू अल्टीमेटली become a very busy you are the successful person leaving the result of the case kyunki main kaha karta tha judges ko sir sada kam decision nal nahi hoga tusi eda rabb nu jawab dena hai agar tusi ajj sade bandya nu banneya na te mera ki kasoor hai vich maine case theek kar diya hai apni basaat ke mutabik और वुड यू बिलीव 25 साल मेरा करियर है बतौर डिफेंस लॉयर मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द केसेस मेरे पास डिफेंस के अंदर दो बंदों का एग्जीक्यूशन हुई है और उनका आज तक मुझे दुख है जब मैं उनका बात जब उनकी मैं बात करता हूं तो मैं नमदीदा हो जाता हूं दोनों केसेस की मेरिट्स पे डेथ कंफर्म नहीं हुई अब आप देखें पिटी ऑफ द क्लाइंट बंदे को सजा मौत होगी मेरे पास सुप्रीम कोर्ट का लाइसेंस नहीं था सुप्रीम कोर्ट में मैटर करना था उन गरीब लोगों ने जाकर उसको पैसे दिए कागज दिए जी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में अपील फाइल कर दें छः महीने बाद उनको ब्लैक ब्लैक वारंट जारी हो गया वो रोते हुए वकील साहब के पास गया जी हमारी अपील नहीं दायर की ओहो यार मैं तो भूल ही गया था दिस इज ए प्रोफेशनलिज्म and ultimately he was executed and was taken back aap zara wo scene leke aaye zehen mein 
کہ جب زندہ آدمی کو ملاقات کرتے ہیں پھر اسی کے لیے تھوڑی دیر بعد آپ گاڑی منگواتے ہیں ہم اس کو مردہ کر کے لے کے جا رہے ہیں چونکہ ہولسٹکلی اینڈ ریئلسٹکلی ون ہیز ٹو جج دی تھنگس ہومن بھی ہیں نا ٹھیک ہے نا ابھی آپ کہتے ہیں جی ملاقات کرو آپ ملاقات کرتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے خریت اچھا یار دعا کرو میں تو جا رہا ہوں دس منٹ بعد وہ جیل چون ڈیڈ باڈی نکال دیں گے کتھارسز دی سرکمسٹانسز وچ آر بورن اینڈ بادرڈ بائی دی اگریو پرسن پھر اگر یہ کہا جائے وکیل صاحب کا اوہ ہو یار میں تو بھول ہی گیا سا میرے منشی نے میں یاد ہی نہیں سی کروایا پھر دیکھیں کیا وہ قابل رحم شخص ہے ایسا جس کا کام نہیں کر رہا اس کو جواب دے دے اور میں آپ کو ریکویسٹ کرتا ہوں سب کو جو لائن آپ نے اڈاپٹ کی ہے اس میں ترقی کریں جو نہیں آتا اسٹریٹ وے کہہ دیں میں نے دیوانی سیکھی نہیں ہے آئی ریمین فور ایئرس ود مائی لرنر سینئر آئی ڈیڈ اونلی ورک آن دی سائڈ آف کریملر دیٹ سال مجھے نہیں آتا مجھے آج بھی نہیں پتا تنسیخ نکاح کیسے لکھا جاتا ہے اللہ رحم کرے مجھے ضرورت بھی نہیں پڑی اس لیے یہ نہ کریں جو کر سکتے ہیں وہ ضرور کریں اس میں ایکسل کریں جو نہیں کر سکتے یا تو اس کو سیکھ لیں یا اس سے پیچھے ہٹ جائیں چونکہ اللہ کی زمین بہت بڑی ہے وہ غفور الرحیم ہے بائی آل دس اب میں آپ کو صرف یہ لاسٹ پہ ایم ریکویسٹنگ ٹو آل آف یو کولونیل لا کی اسٹڈی کریں فرض کریں آپ نے پولیس قانون پڑھنا ہے آپ شروع کریں اٹھارہ سو اکسٹھ سے فرسٹ پولیس ایکٹ آپ حیران پریشان ہو جائیں گے دیر آفٹر انڈر دیٹ پولیس رولس نائنٹین تھرٹی فور دیر آفٹر انڈر پولیس آرڈر ٹو تھاؤزینڈ دس سیکوینشلی یو ہیڈ ٹو گو تھرو آپ کو سمجھ آ جائے گی پولیس کی ورکنگ کی پھر آپ کبھی نہیں بھولیں گے آپ نے انویسٹیگیشن پڑھنی ہے ون ففٹی فور سے لے کر ون سیونٹی تھری ساری ٹائم اینڈ گیٹ پڑے سی آر پی سی اسی پوائنٹ پہ ہائی کورٹ رولز اینڈ آرڈر پہ آ جائے سارا پڑے اسی پوائنٹ پہ چوبیس چیپٹر اور پچیس چیپٹر پولیس رولز کا سارا پڑے آپ کو ساری سمجھ آ جائے گی جب تک آپ کو بیسک لا نہیں آئے گا آپ کو کیس لا کی سمجھ نہیں آئے گی دیر فور فار اے گڈ لائر اٹ ریمینس اے ویری امپورٹینٹ ٹو ہیو اے واسٹ اسٹڈی اوور دی کیس لا اگین آئی ٹیل یو دا ریسنٹلی دیر وار دی ونٹر ویکیشن آپ بلیو کریں گے میں چھٹیاں نہیں کرتا ابھی بھی نہیں کرتا چھٹیوں میں کیا کرتا تھا آئی اینٹرڈ ان دس نوبل پروفیشن ان نائنٹین ایٹی فائیو ایٹی فائیو سے میرے پاس لائبریری تھی چھٹیوں میں میں اینٹی کلاک وائز چلتا تھا میں ایٹی فور ایٹی تھری ایٹی ٹو ایٹی ون ایٹی سیونٹی نائن میں اے آئی آر تک گیا تھا اینڈ آئی وینٹ تھرو دی ہول لائبریری آف ڈسٹرک شیخ پورا ان دس وے اینڈ آئی پرپیئرڈ اے نوٹس دین آئی واز ان اے پوزیشن ٹو کنڈکٹ دی سیشن ٹرائل کہ اگر میرے سے غلطی ہو گئی ہے فلان جگہ بکی اصلاح ہے یہ میں نے ڈیفینس لائن لی ہے فلاں میرے ذہن میں یہ کیس لا ہے وچ ول وچ وڈ ہیلپ می ان کنٹیسٹنگ دی کیس دیر فور فار آل آف یو اٹ از دی ہمبل ایڈوائس ٹو ورک ٹو ورک اینڈ بی آنےسٹ ٹو دی کورٹ ٹو دی لٹیگینٹس ٹو دی پروفیشن اینڈ ٹو یور اون سیلف ایک لاسٹ بات کر کے میں آپ کو ختم کرنا چاہتا ہوں میرے پاس پولیس کا ایک سی ایس پی آفیسر آیا جی میرے ساتھ بڑی زیادتی ہوئی ہے میرا کیس کرو میں نے کہا جی کر دیتے ہیں بیٹھے کہتا ٹھیک میں کیا چائے پلائی اس کو میں نے کہا مجھے ایک بات بتا دیں کہتا جی دسو 
ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਦੀ ਤਨਹਾਈ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਅੰਧੇਰੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਾਰ ਪਈ ਤੇ ਲੇਟ ਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਜ ਮੈਨੇ ਆਪਕੇ ਆਪਕੇ ਸਾਥ ਸੱਚੀ ਬਾਤ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਕੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੋਈ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਚੱਲ ਭੱਜ ਜਾ ਇਹ ਕੋ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦਿਸ ਅ ਲਾਈਫ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਸੇ ਧੋਖਾ ਕਰੋ ਦੂ ਇੱਕ ਬਾਤ ਸਹਿਨ ਮੇ ਰੱਖੇ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਅੱਲਾ ਨੇ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਮੇ ਕਹਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਵੱਲਾ ਹੋ ਯਰਜ ਕੋ ਮਈਆ ਸ਼ਾਹ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਉਹ ਹਮ ਹੈ ਲੈਣਾ ਹਮ ਨੇ ਅੱਲਾ ਸੇ ਹਦੀਸੇ ਰਸਾਲਤੇ ਮਾਬ ਅਲੈ ਸਲਾਮ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ਖਸ ਬਾਵਜੂ ਰਹਿਤਾ ਹੈ ਨਬੀ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਕੀ ਆਲ ਪੇ ਦਰੂਦ ਪੜਤਾ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਕੋ ਪੈਸੋਂ ਕੀ ਕਮੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਸਕਤੀ ਤਜਰਬਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਲੈ ਹਮੇਂ ਜੋ ਚੀਜ਼ ਜਾਇਜ਼ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਸੇ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਤੀ ਹੈ why not to get it in that way ibadat hai rizq kamana allah ne quran pak mein isko fazl ke naam se tabeer kiya hai lehaza ma allah ka fazl lete hain to kyon galat tarike se lete hain kyon mal practices karte hain phir sote bhi nahi hain aur agar aap kisi psychiatrist ke paas jaye allah na kare aap jaye aap ja ke dekhein log kaun se wahan aate hain ਕੋਈ ਐਮਐਨਏ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੜਾ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸਮੈਨ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੜਾ ਦੌਲਤ ਦਾ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਹ ਹੈ ਸਰ ਮੁਝੇ ਨੀਂਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤੀ ਬਸ ਸਰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੁਝੇ ਨੀਂਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤੀ ਕੋਈ ਪੈਸੇ ਦੀ ਕਮੀ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਰ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਕਮੀ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਰ ਕੋਈ ਬੀਵੀ ਦਾ ਲੜਾਈ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਰ ਨੀਂਦ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤੀ ਸਰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਨੀਂਦ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤੀ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤੀ ਜਦ ਅੱਲਾ ਕੋ ਨਰਾਜ਼ ਕਰੇਗੇ ਨੀਂਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏਗੀ ਫਿਰ the limits the bounds hedges of the almighty are broken then you cannot survive ye pakki baat hai kanoon e fitrat ke sath jang karenge to fitrat jeetegi therefore at the last again i'm very thankful to all of my brothers and sisters and again i'm very thankful for providing me a special membership honorary membership of this bar though i tell again you that before entering in the high court bar i stood a member of the islamabad non voter member of the islamabad high court bar because i understand the implications therefore again for the district bar ship islamabad i am thankful if any of my speech or discourse is not tenable to the mind of my brother i may be forget uh, sorry question any ji uh, sir trial mein jab evidence haat niche kar de yes trial mein jab evidence aati hai ji to kuch gawah aise hain jo nala file ki wajah se formal witness hain jinhone ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਆਈਓ ਤੋ ਆਈਓ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਮਸਲਾ ਐਸਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਕਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਕੇਸ ਕੋ ਸਾਰਾ ਖਰਾਬ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਕਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਐਸਾ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਕੋ ਕੋਰਟ ਵਿਟਨੈਸ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਪਰ ਬੁਲਾ ਲੇ ਬਜਾਏ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਕਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਟਨੈਸ ਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਸੱਚ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਤਰਫ ਸੇ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਟਸ ਏ ਗੁੱਡ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਰਾਦਰ ਇਟਸ ਏ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਦੇਖੇ ਪੀਡਬਲਿਊ ਸੀਡਬਲਿਊ ਐਂਡ ਡੀਡਬਲਿਊ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਦੀਸ ਆਰ ਦੀ 3 ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀਸ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਵਿਟਨਸਸ ਵਿਚ ਆਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦੀ ਕੋਰਟ ਪੀਡਬਲਿਊ ਮੀਨਸ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਕਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਟਨਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਨੈਸੈਸਰੀਲੀ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸਡ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸਡ ਬਾਈ ਦੀ ਬਾਈ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਕਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ ਦੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਡੀਡਬਲਿਊਸ ਆਰ ਥੋਸ ਵਿਟਨਸਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸਡ ਬਾਈ ਦੀ ਡਿਫੈਂਸ in support of a particular plea or otherwise cw in between two person cw is there cw is a witness which the 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 the, the, the category of a person has to be decided by the court 
whether he is to he is to be summoned as a CW or he is to be summoned as a DW. Number one. Number two. 540 of the CRPC empowers the court to summon any person to rather it gets inquisitorial jurisdiction for the administration of justice to summon any witness if it is understood by the court that is essential. Now CW is primarily be determined by the court of law or by the trial court after hearing both the parties and going through the record because this is a basic law that justice is to be administered by the error of the court of law no party therefore it depends upon the circumstances suppose according to your question he ultimately remained on the report under section 173 consequently the IO comes you must know firstly what was the duty of the IO his only duty to collect the evidence he is nobody to opine that he is guilty he should not sit a judge as a judge over the facts of the case it is the duty of the court you must know then you must have some knowledge over a case law that if such like persons then again another aspect if you persuade the court in the circumstances it is a CW and the court is convinced that he is summoned CW then he can be summoned then again firstly cross examination to be made by the prosecution prosecution CW anybody आगे आ जाता है दूसरी बात देखें एक चीज है re examination of a witness ठीक है जो के बदनसीबी के साथ कभी हमने किया नहीं है उसकी सिर्फ वजह ये है कि हम deeply study नहीं करते any fact which is introduced in the cross examination which is otherwise alien then for its clarity the court may order for the re-examination of that person on the application or on the request of either of the parties I will tell you the truth the courts are very bad today that if we call someone then why did you call them? 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 not at all look if this work is my job then you need to do free hand courts also say that it's okay लोगों के अपने केस हैं जिस चीज को पेश करना है कर लें नहीं करना ना करें जो हमारे सामने आएगा हम उसपे फैसला कर देंगे अदरवाइज सिस्टम डज नॉट परमिट दिस सिस्टम इज मेंट फॉर दी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ जस्टिस एंड दी लॉ सेज जस्टिस नॉट ओनली बी सीन बट इट मस्ट बी सीन टू हैव बीन डन वो कैसे होता है आपका चेहरा बताता है योर फेस डिपिक्स फैसला ठीक हो या पावे मेरे खिलाफ हो आप कहते हैं रोज زمانت منظور ہو گئی ہے پامے ساڑھے خلاف ہوئی ہے پر زمانت بن دی سی اگر اسی بھی دوسرے پاسے ہوں دے ہو تو زمانت منظور ہونی چاہی دی سی نو دس ایسی جسٹس ایس ٹو بی ڈان دیرفور ایٹ 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 ڈیپنس اپن دی سرکمسٹانسز اب ایچ کیس اباؤٹ دی ڈیسیشن آف اگزیمینیشن آف ای ویٹنس ایز ای سی ڈیو اور ایز ای ڈی ڈیو اینی کوئسٹن ان دی سرگارڈ لیکچر اس لیے کی لیکچر بہت بڑا ہے یہ اس کے تین اسی ہونے چاہیے تھے ایک انویسٹیگیشن دوسرا پھر ریکارڈنگ آف ایویڈنس تیسرا پھر اپریسیشن آف ایویڈنس پھر ٹرائل جا کے مکمل ہونا تھا تینکیو بری مچ تو آل آف یو آم اوبلائیسٹ تینکیو اب میں ملتمس ہوں نائب صدر اسلام آباد بار اسوسییشن چوری صحابت حسین صاحب سے کہ وہ ہمارے مہمان جسٹس ریٹائیڈ مدر اقبال صندو صاحب کو اسلام آباد بار اسوسییشن کی جانب سے پھول پیش کریں تاکہ یہ اسلام